Inanda. Eta eta. So today we are going to Werribee Park. I was surfing on Facebook this morning and I found that uh, there is a Werribee Park just uh, near our home. Uh, it was not that near, it's almost around like 17 to 18 kilometers from our home, but uh, it was a very idle choice for us as uh, uh, it's a public holiday today and due to AFL. So I asked Manisa and she said, uh, yes, we can go. So yes, uh, we are heading to Werribee Park. It's almost there. So we are taking our right turn now. We are taking the right turn now and yes, heading. This is the entry. So we have arrived at Werribee River Park. We have to wear mask because Melbourne is still under lockdown and stage four. Hopefully, uh, Dan Andrews will bring the lockdown down. And yes, it's it's quite nice view. Look at this. So our car is parked over there. It's raining. And it's raining. In my car. No. It's in your car. Yep. Oh, it's it's quite nice. Greeneries. How are you feeling coming out after a long oh time? Oh God, it's such a relief. I'm feeling really good. And let's see how where we park brings us today. I'm really excited to see what's new out there. I've not been here before, it's my first it time. Oh my god, that's for me. As we entered through the gates, we were welcomed by these green big trees. There was light rain, but almost a perfect weather, considering it's Melbourne. We could see the nature's beauty, the eyes soothing views. This was a perfect getaway for us after this long period of lockdown and also the perfect reminder of how beautiful can a nature be. We had no idea what we are heading towards to, but the tripping of birds and the cool weather had already filled us with the excitement. How are you feeling today? Oh, very good. Uh, this park is quite amazing. It's, it's just 15 minutes from our home. 15 to I think 17 minutes from and our home. And we were not even aware of it. 
Yeah. <laughs> We've been to Werribee so many times, yeah. the Rose Park and everywhere. And this is just a minute from there and yeah. we had no this idea. Is, uh, this is a small pond, it's quite amazing. Oh yeah, we've got a pond here as well. So yeah, uh, look at and that. And I guess kids are playing there as well. I want to go there, let's go there. Yeah, probably from this way. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, what does it say? Lake and Good. It was built in 1870. The grotto is one of the few existing in Australia. From the Italian word grotto, the picturesque cave like room was a popular feature of 18th century English garden design. It's probably on that side. So that's grotto over there. Let's have a look. So today we can only imagine ladies spending idle afternoon in Shady Retreat. So this is the one over here. Can you see it? Yeah, yes, so this is the can. one. So that is probably over there. Oh, that okay. is probably over there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's find out. Okay, this was the fountain before. Oh, it's closed now. I think due to COVID it's been closed, but I guess. Yeah. That's a water oh. drinking fountain. Let's hope that it, <sighs> it, it gets okay. open. So this is uh, something Beware. in Australia you will see often. Snakes everywhere. You can see it, it might. It's, it's a, a cold weather today, so there might not be as many snakes in, around. But if it's warm weather, you might see one. Yeah, I do have no uh, idea. I might pop in video. I have got some videos of snakes that I saw while doing work, so I might pop it in. Or just. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Yeah, I have seen quite some snake, some tiger snakes and brown snakes. There's something between me and the snakes. Yeah, Everywhere I think I you time. guys, you are like, maybe snake is your soul creature, like maybe whatever it is called, you know, yeah, I hope like, just... like, you know, people say like, what animal are you? And I think snake is your animal. Well, hopefully they won't bite me. Yeah. Let's see. Look at, look at where they have made it. Kids running around as well. This is quite artistic. So this is... Uh, oh, this is cactus. This is not cactus. This is oh, it's aloe vera. Not? Oh, it's aloe vera. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea why I thought it was cactus. I just feel like getting some and putting it in my face or my hair. So let's go inside the cave. Let's go inside the oh cave. Oh my God. Let's Such go a... inside the cave this way. <gasps> All right. Let's see what happens. Guys. Oh, it's locked. Oh, you cannot Yeah, go. but you can see it from here. Okay, we'll just sneak around. Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah. Why so that's you where used women to... used to come and relax. Ah, in okay. ancient times, so before that. Like the one we saw in the picture. So yeah, this is called Grotto. It was built in 1870. Cool. But it's locked, so... Let's get out of here before we get into some trouble. No, I wouldn't be. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Actually, I'm sorry. So, this is, we are going up. Look at this one. Let's go. So, lots of aloe vera over here. Okay. Oh, this view is amazing. Okay, look at this. I think you can see like most of the parts over there. Oh, this is a circuit. So this is, yeah, where we park. So the whole circuit is around 3.6 kilometers. It is quite good. So we are going back from here. Please click a photo, please. How am I looking? Are you looking good?
This place was so mesmerizing that Manisha couldn't hold herself from taking pictures with the nurses. Oh, you could actually walk to the rose garden. Is so that, rose garden? Yeah. Where is it? That's right. That's the rose garden. Oh my god, all this time. So over there place. is just a rose garden over there if you can see. Yeah, so we came there lots of time but we didn't come this side. So this is just a walking path and we never came. Oh, there is authorized personal only. So probably it's not open to the public. Well, we need to come here for the picnic as well, like those people sitting there bringing a basket, a mat. And like in the movies, I will show you. Maybe we should sit there Where? You want to sit there? Yes. You want to sit there on the grass? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the name of this tree is... Kuresaris Turkey Oak. So yeah, I think it's uh, from Europe, or probably, not sure. Quercus series. Oops. I think there's water because it was raining. That's alright. You want to sit on the wet floor? Yeah, I guess I will to. Maybe, maybe let's get a good place. This is a good place. See, you can see everything. Okay. Lake, okay, it? it's fine with me. Let's sit. Let's sit down now. Okay. We are going to sit here. This is our place to sit. We don't have any mat or anything. But she wants to sit. So let's sit down. Yeah, because it has got a great view. Yeah, so the view is good. It was like we were in the movies. We could see couples, families and friends enjoying the picnics, sitting under the trees, some playing footballs and some talking to each other. I could see smile and happiness in their faces. As we walked through the park, a mansion started appearing, the Werribee Mansion. The mansion was built in 1877 for Queenside family, originally from Scotland, who made their fortune from the wool business in Melbourne, Victoria. I could see sign in every single thing, from a fallen leaf to the flying birds, the innocent laugh of the children playing and the fragments of the grasses. I couldn't wish for the better day than this. So if you, are, if you are looking for the toilet, it's just near the refractory building. So this is the building and there is a sign. So it's on the left side of the building and there's a huge nice park over there. So you can see people playing, children playing, families game, doing get together. I came to know that this is the hotel, but I'm not quite sure if it is. The trees here are magnificent.
This is the corridor. Well, you can actually see inside. It's like a museum. I think it's a museum, not a hotel. I couldn't find the information here. Probably it's written somewhere. So this is the sun dial. Uh, so people used to look at the time. This is the ancient clock. So how this work is with the sun, you can see the reflection, the shadow. So this would actually tell you the time. So this is around two o'clock or something like that. Yeah, so this is in Roman number. So it's, it's two o'clock. I'll check the time. Uh, it's three actually. So probably it's going here somewhere. Daylight saving a time correction. Yeah, I don't think that they are like... Oh, yeah. No, no, this is probably correct because there is a daylight saving thing as well. So, I don't know how we calculate this one. So, like this, here you can see plus daylight saving. So, it's 2 o'clock plus daylight saving. 3, it's uh, almost correct. So, it wouldn't give all the seconds and everything probably. But, yeah. So, this was created in 1877. So, this is an ancient uh, clock. This is how people used to determine the time. We actually read this one, uh, I think in year six or year five, when we are doing some science uh, experiment. So Manisha went there to sit, probably I think she's tired. I'm not quite sure what this is. But they have made a quite good, well, probably it's going to be a maze in coming future. You can see the bell tower over there, oh that's a clock tower. You can see the buildings over here, uh, it resembles England because Australia still is under the Queen and when Australia was being ruled by England, they had brought their heritage, their styles, their architecture over here. So, pretty much when I'm in this park, I'm feeling like I'm in some part of England. I haven't been to England, but yeah, with all those movies and those effects, I feel this is what is, like. Europe is all about. Not just England, the, probably the Europe, the essence of Europe. This is the essence of Europe. You can see the building. It's magnificent. Wow, look at the structure. The grasses are green. It's it's like you are in the Disney world. Inanda. So we have, so this is the end of Yay. our very, so this is the end of our very park visit. So it was quite fascinating. Oh, we didn't know that it is so near to our house. Now we know we'll be visiting more often. And yeah, I think it it's is, a very great uh, picnic spot as well. Yeah, it is and a perfect place for picnic. You can just come for a walk. Or just yeah. to chill your mind. If you want to read a book, you can have a quick snack. I think that would be like a great yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. 
there's a museum as well i think it's 10 dollars something uh, i'll put that in video i have clicked the photo of the tickets prices yeah, we couldn't go today but yeah this uh, this is the natural beauty is beyond describable yeah, anyway that's the great part of melbourne it's always green and it's beautiful yeah okay anyway we'll see you on our next video it will be some place interesting like this one till then have a good and that's my car there have a good time yeah till guys bye love bye, -bye. You. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.